So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And he comes to the end of the season leading the NFL in passing yards. And that's not necessarily something you set out to do at the beginning of the year, but it's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Shoves him away. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down at the 20. A huge play there on the screen pass. 45 yards. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Oh, twisting it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from the 20. And the Sentinels march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the one, but nothing set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. And it makes me reflect back to preseason when you and I do our tours of camps. The prevailing message in each and every one of them was what? Win the division. Win the division. Win the division. You know you're in the playoffs. It means something. It might mean it means a home game. It means a number of other things. But winning the division is paramount. You're right. They won't step off the gas here. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And now the rookie's free. Down the sideline he goes. And touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Sentinels are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league. But always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's gonna try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. Good move at the 30. There's the stiff arm. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That good for 22 and a first down. What we saw there, that's what we know that he can do. He can break tackles and turn them into big runs, and that's what he did. And what is the buzz phrase nowadays in football for a guy like that? Contact balance. The ability to go through trash, come out the other side, avoid and run through contact, and keep your balance. Looking left side, he's got it complete. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the... So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year. 16-0. and 0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That's the end of the first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 
A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Sentinels continue to pull away here in this first half. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal. And then one play later, he's in the end zone. Let's go now. On the draw, it's Sayers. Now he's loose at the 40, inside the 20. Touchdown! A big play there. His second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Sentinels will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Go. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking left sideline, it's complete. But he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Oh, look at the juke. And on this one, he'll get to the fifth. On first down, got his hand in and knocked it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Right back to him on first down. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Sentinels extend their lead yet again. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Dances by him. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Pulls down to the ground, incomplete. Third quarter action here in this regular season finale. This will be second and 10. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. A nice little juke. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A big run there, 29 yards. Sensational season. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And all the way in for the touchdown. A great play there. 35 yards. And the Sentinels just continue to roll. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they built here, they've done. Okay, on first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Shifts by him. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there, 49 yards. And the Sentinels look poised to reach 17. Here we go, Shaq. They'll start on the ground here on first down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. 
Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll take this ahead for about four. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Boy, shifts past him, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And they're going to speed things up here. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his man on the crossing route. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And unable to connect on the long pass. He actually brings it in, but he was out of bounds, incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll try to run this one in, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So it's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. They were looking for a little spark and some breathing room. They got it right there, a gain of 14 and a first down. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a lot. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that will bring up third and one. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive, and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball again, there he goes right side. Down the right sideline. How about this? Touchdown. A big play there. 83 yards. And the Sentinels are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, but now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and they've got the crowd in. Right, they're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. And yeah, he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the big offense ready for their second drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watch the other side just score, but 
Remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if oh, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Inside the 20. And touchdown. A great play there. 75 yards. And his guys have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now, with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll buy some time right. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Still going. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like that one, partner. They go back-to-back -back with excellent gains, and really it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Sam Martin on to kick it away. And it's taken in at the nine. There he goes, left side. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds down inside the 25. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. And not much. Let's go now. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Showed a good move, but quickly corralled just beyond the 10-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. 31 yards. And the Sentinels go up by two touchdowns. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it and taking it. Apologies to Dylan Thomas. Apparently, they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. And now off to the races, down the right side. Inside the 20, touchdown. Seconds of the first half. And the Sentinels continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. It can totally change the complexion of half number two. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And some room to work. Nifty move. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Inside the 20. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. Here he goes right side. Down the sideline he goes. How about this? Racing to the end zone. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his...
his third touchdown of the game. And the Sentinels are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away with that would not being picked off? Taking it right down Broadway. Across midfield. He's on his way. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Here's Sam Martin now. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he'll go ahead and field this at the five. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And they will take over first and 10. You don't see that too often, Charles. He punted that away and then hustled up to make the stop as well. Yeah, because oftentimes they serve as their own safety after punting it. You want to be the last guy, but he decided to get bucked. And now off to the races, down the right side. Down the right sideline. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, you know, most quarterbacks, when you talk about their big playability, you talk about the arm, but this, an absolutely huge play with a leg. And also with his mind, because he had to see this play develop in order to make the decision to keep it and run. And how about him looking up and seeing the C's park for him once he got past the line of scrimmage? My first thought, I think he can go all the way, and I'm trying not to take over. You're caught with this play, partner. That'll put him north of 100 yards receiving now in this divisional round game. It's a first down. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He has been a touchdown machine. It has been enjoyable to watch. And the scoreboard continues to light up as a result of his efforts. He's been a blast, though. Every time you look up, you just figure, if he's got the ball in his hands, he's going to end up in the end zone. It's been that kind of a game. Absolutely. Now you just keep waiting for more. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Looks like they went for the combo plate there. A nice ample gain on the ground on the previous play. Going for the big shot on that one unsuccessfully. Second and 10 here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 14. Back now in the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Canton, Ohio. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Second and six from the 10. They'll set up a throw, sliding out of the pocket. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. On second down, they'll run it here. 115 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to win his guys to the championship round next weekend. Out to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. A great effort there. 61 yards. And the C 
Sentinels add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. He has really settled in. Back to throw now in his own end zone. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. He's got space past the 25, and they will finally get him down at the 28. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Rolling to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. That'll go as a pickup of 32. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this. And it's caught. Touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Sentinels have got it on cruise control. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this confidence and matches what was Tom Dempsey's 43-year NFL record at one point of 63 yards. Yeah, I can still see that highlight of Dempsey making that kick, and nowadays we see it a little bit differently because, remember, Dempsey was a straight-on kicker. But these guys nowadays, the range keeps increasing, and they keep putting it through the posts. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And it would appear that that first round by certainly helped. They've looked fresh from the start and no letdown here as they lead big in this divisional round and they look to book a spot in the conference championship. And he sidestepped one man, but reinforcements come to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. They get it to Sayers on the screen. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. It's the AFC Championship game, and the road to a Super Bowl travels through Canton. It's the Chargers and the Sentinels, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Now from the birthplace of the game itself, EA Sports, so proud to join you from the Hall of Fame city of Canton, Ohio. Straight ahead, a clash to the side the AFC's represent. to the Super Bowl and we'll know soon enough which team that'll be as we are underway in the AFC title game. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a fair.
officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed and on that route. He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Herbert on first down now. And that'll be cut downfield by Chanel. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes they're over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Herbert running left off the option. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like... No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Thank goodness the heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that, that would overturn. Play. They say the knee runs down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On second down, Eckler. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. There he goes, left side. The end result, 21 yards. They'll throw. Forced out to his left. He's got a man. That's caught. Left side. Back to back. Good plays. Have him on the move on first down. And all the way in for the touchdown. A great play there. 38 yards. And the Sentinels are on first here in this AFC championship game. Things could just not have started any better for them. They get the turnover, the football right away, able to capitalize on offense for six. And we're talking about setting a tone in any game, right? The first points of a ball game. How about here on the... They'll start this drive out on the ground. There he goes, right side. Still going inside the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A big play there. Offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that one. They'll start on the ground here on first down. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. 
99 yards rushing now in the opening quarter of this AFC Championship game. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Both spinning away. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Signals continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second and one. Going right side here, and that's complete. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Touchdown! A great effort. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Spinning away. A gain of 11 to kick. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Up the middle, they run with Gale Sayers. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now a give, it's Sayers between the tackles. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to get another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Sentinels are able to widen their lead here in this first half. So that CD, that was impressive. He got out of three, maybe four tackles there on his way to the end zone. And a lot of times when you break a tackle or slip a tackle, it actually slows you down. That's what we were taught. If you don't make the play, Make him stop his feet. Ready up. Let's go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And down he'll go at the 25. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 
21 yards. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Here's a throw off the scramble, and that's complete out left. And quickly, they get to the line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack to the 27-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. A good pick up there, 22. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. This will be caught at about the six. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Sentinels go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. On the move to his left. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Down the left sideline. And touchdown! A big play. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to throw. Going up top. And that's caught inside the 30. He's on his way. Touchdown. A great effort there. 79 yards. And the Sentinels are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. He takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. So a change of possession here on the punt. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing in cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material? And now off to the races, down the right side. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown. A great play there. The offense comes back out onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? And you score. There he goes, right side. Across midfield. He's on his way. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A big play. Let's go, let's go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's second and eight. Wide open receiver complete. One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a give now to Sayers. Spinning away, and once more. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Still going inside the 20, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. 55 yards. And the Sentinels are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. To the air again, Herbert. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he's able to take this one back 
to the 36-yard line. Well, this game was already decided, Charles, let's be honest, but now another feather in the cap of this defense as they pick him off for the second time. You're right about that. Things have been going pretty well for them, to put it mildly, but they're still out there hunting for big plays and get another one right there. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. is tied in. That's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Looking to speed things up here. Going with some tempo. He'll buy some time right. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. There's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And Barner, why? And it's caught. Touchdown from 13 yards out. And the Sentinels add six more to their point total. And they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth. Well, they've been part of the cream of the crop in the AFC all season. It's becoming more and more evident that they're going to get a shot to play for that Super Bowl. Down. Ready. Herbert on third down now. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh my goodness, CD. I mean, this defense just continuing to dominate. They're really dominating on both sides of the ball, but for the defense, that's now three interceptions for them here in this ball game. And what a great teaching tape for this defensive coordinator, right? When they go back and review this game, what does he always tell us that he preaches to his team? We're going to lead the league in effort. Well, they're doing that in this game as well as making big plays. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's able to take this one up to the 45 yard. For them to prove in this game, but they're still throwing the football. I guess, of course, CD, you know, you could always get the backups some work. There's new plays to try out. But some people, let's face it, they just want to run the score up. It's fun. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown. A great play there. 51 yards. And the Sentinels are pouring it on. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's it's. They'll start on the ground here on first down. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Second and 13. Out to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. That's caught inside the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line and all that hard work has paid off they're AFC champions and on to the Super Bowl they go it's got to be an amazing feeling for them doesn't it Brandon the idea that you've done it all all that hard work all that sweating all that effort all those times you're getting yelled at by your coach and now you get to go to the Super Bowl